Admit it, nothing eclipses Yankee baseball, nothing. What was all the fuss about? The Yankees checked it out with very safe glasses. They looked up to see this phenomenon. Most of them enjoyed it. Did you? Third start for Cortez, and he struggled early. You see his numbers. Facing the Marlins for the first time in his career, thought last year when the Yankees came to town that he'd be able to pitch at home. So Luis Arise digs in, six for 14. Fly ball left field. Verdugo backs up. He's there, puts it away. And there's one down. Brian De La Cruz. Fly ball center field toward right center judge. Two outs. Josh Bell. Oh, the rocket and rolling. High fly ball, deep right field. Backing up is Soto. He has room in front of the track. He'll put it away for the final out. We will accompany Glaber to home plate, and that's who he's going to face. Third star for Lazardo. Pirates and the Angels at home. First pitch swinging and a sinking liner caught by Avi Garcia. So Lazardo throws one pitch to get the first out tonight. Here he faces Juan Soto, lefty on lefty in a scoreless game. Comes upstairs, missed with a 98 mile an hour fastball for ball four, and Juan Soto draws a walk in his first plate appearance. And his center fielder Aaron Judge steps to the plate. Ground ball, that's Anderson at short, takes it himself and doubles up Judge. Garcia goes and chases the cutter upstairs, and Cortez has his second strikeout victim here tonight. Nothing across as the Marlins go down in order in the top of the second. So Lazardo, after picking up the first two outs on ground balls, Walks back-to-back -back batters, and coming to the plate will be Jose Trevino. And a fly ball out towards shallow right. Avi coming in, camped underneath it, makes the catch. Lazardo works around a pair of two-out walks. Bottom third of the Marlins order, Rivera. Oh, what a play by Volpe. Gets to his feet. Got him. That is a gold glove play by the Yankee shortstop. Taking two base hits away from the Marlins, and Rivera is retired. Here's Vidal Brujan. High pop-up on the left side. Foul territory in the coach's box. Birdie makes the play. Swing at a high fly ball. Left field moving out is Volpe. Called off by Verdugo. And the left fielder makes the catch. Nine up, nine down for Nestor Cortez with a little help from his shortstop tonight. Two strikeouts for Jesus Lazardo to open up the bottom of the third. We're scoreless. But here's Soto. Line to left field. On the run is De La Cruz. He's not going to get there. And it goes into the corner and up against the wall. Soto will pick up a double. And the Yankees have a runner in scoring position for Aaron Judge. This won't be a double play. Doesn't need to be. Just needs to get into Avi's glove. And it will. And Soto retires a rise for out number one. Here's Brian De La Cruz. Reach for it. Soft liner. Shallow right field. It'll fall in for a base hit for Brian De La Cruz. It's the first hit of the night allowed by Nestor Cortez. And Miami has a runner at first for Josh Bell. Fly ball center field. A step back for Judge. Now a couple of steps in. Two away. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Cortez sidewinding to home plate. And the Marlins are retired here in the fourth. To John Carlos Stanton is lined hard into left field for a base hit. The Yankees have the leadoff batter aboard. Here's Rizzo. Chop over the range of Berger and into right field. Stanton will go to third. Garcia will get the ball in. First and third, nobody out. RBI situation for the Yankees and Anthony Volpe. High drive, left field. De La Cruz back, turning, looking. See ya. A three-run home run for Volpe. He just keeps doing it. Three-nothing Yanks. Uh, game's getting better and better watching this kid hit. And when you're approved for two strikes, is it the other way? You're going to pull a breaking ball. And a uh, hanging one at that. That's inside third and down the left field line. It'll kick off the sidewall. Verdugo's going for two, and he will make it. Here's Trevino. Upstairs for ball four. Runners at first and second. He'll face John Birdie. And a push punt. Nice play by Lazardo, but the runners move up. They'll give a sacrifice. Here's Glaber Torres. Fly ball right field. Going back to tag for Dugo. Avi trying to get ahead of steam. Here comes the throw from right field, and it's on the mark and strong enough to keep Verdugo at third. This would be a big win for Lazardo if he can get out of the fourth inning, allowing just the three runs. So two away, runners at second and third for Soto, and he launches one deep into right. Garcia near the wall on the warning track down the line, and it is gone! A home run for Juan Soto! His first Yankee Stadium home run as a member of the New York Yankees. Juan Soto, a three-run shot, the second of the inning for the Yankees, and they are ahead six to nothing. Well, Soto's second of the year, Michael. You know when the great players are 
are playing well. It's just a joy to watch, isn't it? I mean, line to line, left field the first time up, three run homer the next time up. Again, he covered the ball away the first time. Sardo missed a little bit up and in, and he's able, as good as he is, to get to the ball inside. That's why hitting the ball the other way is so important because you're going to get pitches like this anyway. And you see Aaron Judge, he knows where this is headed. So this crowd is falling in love with Soto and it seems like feeling is mutual. I was after the home run going out to right field. <laughs> it's great, it's great. They, they've been enjoying the game as much as I do. And I'm more than happy to hear all those shares and everything. I mean, they're coming out every day since I've been here and it's incredible. Six nothing Yankees, bottom of the fifth. Runner at second is Stanton. And they're two away. Another great at bat by Verdugo. Stanton will trot home. Verdugo with an RBI single and a big turn. And it's 7 0 Yankees. So a payoff pitch coming again to Trevino. And it's upstairs for ball four. And that is going to be all for Jesus Lazaro. So Birch Smith comes in. Called strike three. Birch Smith ends the inning. And the side retired in order yet again by Nestor Cortez Jr. He's only allowed one hit tonight. Marlins go down quietly. Unlike here, De La Cruz has been swinging a hot bat lately. Dumps one into center field for both Marlins hits today. 31 years of age. This is his ninth season in the big leagues. Powerful switch hitting, first baseman. Fly ball shallow right. Gleyber Torres makes the call. And there's the first out. Swing and a miss, strike three. Gets Berger to chase the changeup. And there is strikeout number five on the night. For Nestor Cortez Jr., three of them have come against the Miami first baseman. Up the middle, Volpe will step on the bag, and that will do it and end the seventh inning. Nestor Cortez has tossed eight innings before. He is working with nobody on and nobody out here in the top of the eighth inning. And starting the eighth, Michael, this is the longest a Yankee starter has been in all year. Soto runs it down. Swing and a miss. Rivera down on strikes, two away. The 0-1 is hit in the air to left. For the third time in his career, Nestor Cortez is through eight. Cortez grounds one to third, one away. So Josh Machieski has made his major league debut to get the final three outs. He throws one pitch, gets an out. Swing and another roller left side. Third baseman Birdie in the shortstop hole. He throws to first, and it's in time. So two quick outs. And now the batter will be Brian De La Cruz. Swing and a ground ball to third base. To his left is Birdie. He throws to first. It's in time. That's the ball game. And the Yankees make it three in a row here on the homestand. They take the first game of this three-game set over the Miami Marlins, winning it 7 to nothing. Nestor Cortez, Jr., Eight brilliant innings of shutout ball on just two hits. 